Hey guys, Jack Customs here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my brand new customs that I've been working on for the past um, couple days. First off, over here, we have a Cameron Grimes custom. This is a Triple H head, Triple H head scan with Daniel Bryan um, body, and I forgot whose arms that is, but I it would I think it was like same Zayn or Dean Ambrose or something. I acid toned it off. Obviously, what I did was I painted everything black for the head scan. I also painted everything black. I painted the beard a little bit brown since that's how he has it. I think I missed a step right there, as you can see. I gotta, like, take it off. But yeah, um, I did the chest hair. This is a jacket that he wears to the um, ring. So this is my Cameron Grimes custom. And then over here is my Humberto Carrillo custom. We'll take a closer look at that. This is a Miz head scan that I sculpted all of the all the way. This suit thing that you're seeing, this is um, Wardlow. Wardlow is like vest thing that he wears. Yeah, I added um, this like Power Ranger type thing. And then I added like a cape to it. This is a... This is a Terry Funk legs. And I'm trying to remember whose upper body it is. Terry Funk legs. Um, I don't really remember who upper body it is, but it's like, yeah, I don't really remember whose body that is. I'm not really sure whose arms those are either, but as you can see down here, I did like a, this is not like your typical Humberto Carrillo, um attire. Usually what he wears nowadays is like a lot more complicated. What I went for is one of his older attires, like the ones he, he wore in NXT. It's like a dragon, and then on the bottom you can see. This is all hand-painted. All hand-painted by me. And now I'm going to show you basically a little bit, like go through how I did these two customs. For the cape, I use like this little cloth thing. And for the paint... Right here, this is uh, folk art paint, animals, apple barrel, all types of paint. This is for all, for both of these customs, these are the paint you're gonna use. To get into those tight corners, like the, uh, the lettering and that, and I did the eyes too, if you notice. You gotta use a lead pencil. Well, I think this one died out, but a lead pencil works very well. And for cracking torsos, because I had to crack a lot of torsos for, for this custom. You're going to need a screwdriver. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you my new custom. Show you a little bit of how I made them. If you want a full tutorial, you can, like, comment or tell me down below. Tell me what you think of these customs. Which one do you think is better? Hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next.